Now, your Alaska Link weather for Anchorage and South Central. Good evening. As we continue to roll through our first week of January, note that there's not a whole lot of numbers here, but one thing to note is that we have ended off December and stepped into January with some quieter conditions and no measurable snowfall. But that's fairly similar to how we started December, and we know that December quickly added up those snow numbers, so we know that it can change even though it's been a quiet start, as we'll even be talking about some snow showers here. As we roll through the overnight, we're noting that those overcast skies will start to shake out some snow showers into those morning hours and we're still dealing with some of those blustery winds with Silla Palmer still noting even up to 30 miles per hour similar there to Kenai as well as some of those coastal locations. So note that as you see that 30 mile per hour uh, wind in Whittier, we're still seeing that uh, the Thompson Pass, the Turnigan Pass dealing with some blowing snow as well as that avalanche threat. Wind is definitely a big trigger when precipitation is falling or not falling. So do note that we'll continue to keep an eye on those concerns and if you are in one of those areas that's prone to see those whiteout conditions or avalanches do stay wary and prepared. Now we are watching that as snow showers are possible into tomorrow morning. We'll then stay with some scattered activity as we're going to watch a few waves come from that weakening low across the Bering Sea into the region before it will fall apart as it works its way into southwestern Alaska and give us a quick break on Saturday before our next system moves in. So we'll have those snow showers spread their way in with that first front. You can see that almost line there just cross areas of the valley and then through the Prince William Sound there bringing those snow showers to an end and then another wave looks to quickly follow in behind it allowing for another round of mainly those coastal uh, rain and snow showers might be able to into Friday shake out another round of some snow to rain showers for areas like Kenai into the bowl all looking to be very light accumulations again the system is starting to weaken so we're just seeing a few of those tenths of an inch there running from areas of Kenai through the bowl and the valley and then a few of those inches there for coastal locations at times some of those spots uh, mixing over to some rain showers if able to get warm enough. Daylight hours sit at five hours and 46 minutes gaining about two and a half minutes now per day. Sunset closer there to 4 p.m. and sunrise closer to 10 a.m. as well where we may work in maybe some filtered sunshine after starting the day off with some of those snow showers but know that the system also continuing to keep temperatures mild 28 to Anchorage 39 there into Whittier 30 into Wasilla. We'll head into our Friday forecast, waking up with those temperatures still mild 20s as that cloud cover hugs the region and again keeps us under some of that scattered activity. Pretty similar temperatures to our Thursday. Now that system is going to dissipate, break into some sunshine for our Saturday with a morning low of 16 degrees and an afternoon high of 27. And then we'll be gearing up for our next storm system that is looking to potentially return as early as Sunday with another round of some snow and wind to track.